adopted by any locality. The uh, amendment would strike a portion of the bill that would require DCJS in consultation with the Department of Health and Pro Fire Programs to develop a model policy regarding the carrying of such handguns by firefighters and EMS. Uh, this comes after consultation with DCJS, who does not deal uh, with fire programs and the patron of the bill. Um, so I hope it would be the pleasure of the body to adopt the floor amendment. Delegate from Fairfax, Delegate Simon. Uh, Mr. Speaker, uh, would the gentleman yield for a question? The delegate yield for a question. I yield. Uh, speaking to the floor amendment at this time, right? So my question is, would the DCJS, I mean, I understood they didn't want to do this. Did they indicate whether they'd be supportive or opposed to the bill with this, with the removal of this language? Yes, Mr. Speaker, I would say that uh, DCJS has concerns with the bill. Those concerns did not change uh, with the adoption of the floor amendment. All those in favor of the floor amendment uh, offered by Delegate Klein signify by saying aye. Aye. All those opposed, no. The ayes have it. That floor amendment is adopted. Delegate Klein. Uh, Mr. Speaker, I urge the passage of the bill. Mr. Speaker. I'm sorry. Delegate from Fairfax, Delegate Simon. Uh, Mr. Speaker, speaking to the bill. Delegate has the floor. Uh, Mr. Speaker, members of the General Assembly, uh, this bill is, uh, I think as I indicated before, it's opposed by DCJS. Uh, it's also opposed by the uh, administration, by the Virginia Association of Fire Chiefs, the Virginia Professional Firefighters Association, the Department of Fire Programs, the Office of Emergency Medical Services, and the Virginia Association of Volunteer Rescue Squads. Um, this is a bill that the firefighters and EMS officials aren't asking us for. Uh, this is a bill, I understand why the patron put it forward, I understand that, that what, what's trying to be accomplished. I think some folks have a genuine concern about first responders, whoever they may be showing up at a, at a scene, uh, and the need that they may have or desire they may have to protect themselves. And I think that some folks feel like that the safest way to do that would be for these folks to carry their own civilian firearms in their own civilian holsters with whatever training they may have had to have to get a concealed carry permit and nothing more. Some of us actually feel like that makes those folks and the folks that they're there to serve less safe. That's all it's about. It's just what do you think is going to promote public safety? The public safety agencies involved think this bill will make folks less safe. Uh, there are a whole lot of unintended consequences. You've got, we don't know what kind of training. In fact, the, the one provision of the bill that would have had some sort of training, at least a model policy for what the training ought to look like, was taken out of the bill. Uh, so what we're left with is uh, a bill that the firefighters haven't asked for, the public safety agencies don't want, uh, that would have Paramedics carrying their firearms, their personal firearms in ambulances, um, would have firefighters carrying their, fire, their, their weapons on a truck into a fire, who knows where. We don't have any guidelines for that. Mr. Speaker, for those reasons, I would hope that it would be the pleasure of the body to not pass this bill. Let's not do this. This isn't something that anybody's asking for. It's not anything that anybody ought to do, and I think that it's something that many of us feel would make uh, the public less safe. Delegate from Caroline, Delegate Orock. Mr. Speaker, speaking briefly to the bill. Delegate S. Floor. Mr. Speaker, without being repetitive of the comments that were just made, I want to associate myself though with those general sentiments and then just further add for the members of the body, if you look at the last couple lines of the remaining language, line 57 through 59, it still gives local government the authority to opt out, as it were, but this would then put into code that mandate on local government. If they didn't want to allow this, they now would have to affect policies to ban it versus now the process, because the code is silent on the matter, it's actually in the opposite, where if local governments want to allow it, they may do so. I think this is clearly not needed at this time, and I would hope that the body would not pass the bill. Shall the bill pass? Clark will close the roll. Eyes. 35, nose 62. Eyes 35, nose 62. The bill fails to pass.